Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome. And if you're back as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with a whip and chat to share with you all. Whip stands for work in progress and chat means that we're just going to chat and catch up a little bit. So feel free to whip out your whip and work alongside me if you like. Uh, you don't have to watch the screen, but you're certainly welcome to. I'm going to be working on a diamond painting project and just filling you in a little bit about my week and what I've been up to, both in terms of diamond painting and a little bit about just, you know, personal life as well. So um, the kit I'll be working on today, I am not actually going to tell you the name of it, uh, but it is one of the new releases from Diamond Art Club this upcoming week. And... Um, it is from one of my favorite artists. You're getting kind of a little peek at what's happening over here. I suppose if you're feeling like a super sleuth, you could try to find out what it is. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest, because Diamond Art Club has actually given the sneak peekers permission to share their sneak peek videos anytime between Monday and Thursday. We don't have to worry about it being in order. We don't have to worry about uh, Diamond Art Club posting the preview first. So with that in mind, you're not going to see this whiff and chat until Monday morning anyway, so I think this pretty well fits within the spirit of what they've asked us to do. Uh, I'm still going to hold off on telling you the name, but um, I think it's quite possible that you'll recognize it when you see it. Um, but yes, yeah, so let me, uh, I'll talk more about all the Diamond Art Club's new releases coming this week here in just a little bit. First, though, I want to tell you what else I'll be working with. So. Um, pen wise, uh, this is one of my newer pens I haven't had the chance to try out yet. This is from Pretty Baby Pens on Etsy. It's my first pen from them. I love all the sparkles and stuff in it. This pen is one of my, uh, I think my newest pen that I got from Butterfly Effect Wears and the colors match perfectly. If you kind of look over here, you can see like that color scheme even just here matches what's happening over here. Um, I am actually gonna use the pink heart wax from Diamond Art Club in both my multi-placer and my single placer. Uh, I can't remember the last time that I used pink wax to be honest with you and I was watching my friend Lindsay Emeralds and Fairy Lights and her whip and chat and she was saying that I think she had a viewer that or someone commented saying they thought that the new pink heart wax like the ones that come in the caddies they thought it was like a different formula. Now I think Diamond Art Club did come back and say that it's not a different formula, but we just know that this is like super duper fresh created wax. <laughs> so I did test it out just a little bit um, before this whip and chat and I put some in my single placer, but I'm gonna pop some in the multi-placer as well. We're gonna see because you know, every once in a while it's fun to go back to old reliable, I guess. So. We'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll be using this purple sparkly mini made tray. Again, it just fits the color scheme perfectly. Pulled out a couple of minders to work with uh, with this kit. I have this um, fire dragon from Agnes Little Minders. It's a polymer clay handcrafted minder. And then I just felt like this particular minder was really appropriate for this upcoming week with the filming frenzy that I am going to be in, so everything's fine, dumpster fire. This is from Galloway's Gallery. They, um, if you followed their shop when they were on Etsy, uh, they did close down their Etsy storefront and opened their own like dedicated website shop. I'll link to it below in the description. I'll actually drop things. I will link to all of these small shops in the description below. So let me open up this section. Um, it did just come to my attention, like literally just this evening, I still have to respond to that Facebook message that I think that the link that I have kind of just copy and pasted in my description for this ceramic uh, pen that I use to cut my diamond paintings, the cover with, which is a tiny ceramic pointy bit there. My camera doesn't want to focus because of course it doesn't. Um, whatever I linked to, I think it was at like DP with sparklers. I don't think they necessarily sell this on their website anymore. So. I'll find another really inexpensive place that like sells these they should be incredibly inexpensive and I'll link to that below and I'll start replacing my links with that as well so okay uh, first things first okay we are gonna start with this pen because I've never used a pen from this company and I'm gonna load it up with pink wax I think especially because I'm gonna be using the multi-placer this is a giant multi-placer as well so 
I just I'm not swapping out swapping out to the metal multi placer just yet. So this is like the skinny. Is that like a ten placer? It's plastic. Anyway, it should do the trick. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'll chat while I load up my pen here. Uh, I hope you're doing really well and that you had a nice weekend. Yeah, it almost has like more of a jelly consist consistency than I remember. But again. I've used it in my single placer a little bit the past few days, but for the most part, I have not been using pink wax like at all. So um, I'm trying not to make a mess. I need to get a little bit more there in the end. So let's see if I can like just use some of that excess. Um, uh, we'll see if that does the trick. I'm really, really out of practice. I almost exclusively use um, putty in my multi placer. So. <laughs> You'll just have to bear with me on this learning curve. <sighs> going back to my roots, going back to my roots. Anyway, um, it is Sunday evening here as I am filming. And I actually, I kicked around the idea of not even trying to film a whip and chat just because, like I said, it's a little bit of a filming frenzy this week. <laughs> um, and then at the same time, I thought, you know, I'm just going to sit down and diamond paint tonight. I'm not going to film any more unboxings. Um, I just want to kind of like kick back and unwind. And so I thought, why not do that in a whip and chat? <laughs> like that would be so much more relaxing. Um, you can't totally see what I'm doing, but I get a lot of people to ask. Or I see people ask as well, like in Facebook groups and whatnot, how, like, what do I use a cover minder for? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this magnet. I'm lifting up the canvas and I'm slipping. You, I know you can't see it. I'm putting the magnet under this area where I peeled the plastic back to, and then it just snapped right on there and it's gonna help hold back the plastic cover. And it's also just cute. Here, let me shift you down just a little bit so you can see my little dumpster fire minder. <laughs> uh, and then the dragon will keep us company over here as well. <laughs> I just heard a big thump. Was that my kiddo? Okay, I don't hear crying. <laughs> oh no. Um, I put my kiddos to bed uh, by, uh, just a little bit ago. And so we will see what shenanigans they get up to. They don't usually get up to any shenanigans. Usually they're very easy. I put them to bed and they uh, just kind of, they're chill. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I don't, this flip and chat, I don't know if this is gonna be full length or not. I'm just gonna kind of chat and see how it goes. I'm feeling pretty tired this evening, so I may keep it short, but who knows? Then again, when I get talking, um, I suppose anything could happen. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I guess I'll ask again now that I'm not distracted with like loading up my wax and stuff. How are you doing today? I hope you had a really nice weekend. What did you guys think about Diamond Art Club deciding to up and surprise us this morning? <laughs> with five previews and an announcement that in celebration of their fourth anniversary of their very first order being, um, the, them accepting their very first order, um, they're releasing 50 kits. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, um, this is what I've been kind of teasing at, both here and a little bit on my Patreon as well. I, I didn't tell even my Patreon exactly what was coming just because um, I'm not going <laughs> to blow up Diamond Art Club's spot here. Um, but uh, like they they were coordinating with sneak peek people weeks ago to get these kits sent out. As it is, some of the kits may not arrive on time and they may be pre-orders. But I have my fingers crossed that <laughs> when Diamond Art Club arrives in the office tomorrow it's to find out that their warehouse has these kits in stock so i am fortunate enough to only be missing one kit however i still have five sneak peeks in hand i have filmed two of them well one and three quarters of them because the kit that i'm working on now is a sneak peek um, or is a kit that's releasing this week. And so I filmed the initial unboxing portion of it and I'm gonna go in and probably on Wednesday evening, depending on, I might actually finish this <laughs> before 
before I need to film this portion, but most likely on Wednesday evening, I will go in and um, film a bit where I actually share as much of the canvas as I have actually completed so far, whether or not it's actually complete, you know, at least I'll show what I have completed and how absolutely gorgeous it is. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, but I'm planning to do a good chunk of my filming. I'd like to get one or two sneak peeks filmed, hopefully tomorrow morning when my kids are at school and I can enjoy that like natural light and everything like that. I would love to be able to get one or two sneak peeks filmed tomorrow. Um, but I'm very excited. I think it's really neat that they are not only like releasing a ton of kits for us, but also that if you're a diamond or ruby level rewards member, we get a huge early access window. Like, holy cow, we get like a day and a half as opposed to half an hour, um, which don't fret by the way, if you are not a diamond or ruby level tier rewards member, they, they've even said as much, like they're trying to make sure it's clear like in their public, posts and everything, they hold, they always hold back stock for the general release. So even if somehow a kit sells out during the diamond and ruby level release, like early access window, they've held back stock of every single kit for the general release. So I also appreciate that about them as well. Um, Cause I, I don't, even as like a diamond tier awards member, I agree, like I don't think it would be terribly fair for general release to like not even get a shot at it. So yay. I <laughs> am um, excited. I thankfully as it as videos go, sneak peeks tend to not be too editing intensive. Um, they I guess I feel like I've kind of gotten into a little bit of a rhythm as far as filming them goes. So I'm not, at the moment, I'm not too stressed about it, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm kind of like, mm, I'm a little just, I, I want to make sure that I um, don't forget to mention things that I want to mention in each of the videos. Like I'm afraid that filming so many back to back that I will be forgetful because I am extremely forgetful in general. Um, I am just nervous that I'll forget something that I want to say or I'll say something wrong. And um, in part because I don't like really because I don't want to give you guys incorrect info, but also because, oh boy, um, people don't hesitate to let you know if you have said a single thing wrong and it's completely fine. I generally speaking have a very very thick skin at this point and that stuff just rolls right on off but I um every once in a while like if I'm having a tough day then sometimes those more critical comments hit a little bit harder um but I'm, I'm not anticipating having one of those days this upcoming week but you know sometimes you, you don't totally know <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot warmer weather this week. Speaking of mood stuff, uh, we had a little bit of uh, another heat wave and just with how hot it has been, it just makes me cranky already. I will try, but I make no promises. I will try not to be constantly complaining about the heat as we go into the summer months. <laughs> I am very much a person that thrives in cooler weather. We did have one day last week where it was like a high of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. There was just a little bit of a breeze and it was, there's was just a little bit of this like crisp feeling to the air. And my, my body and my mind just felt so happy and content. And I was like, there's just, this is, this <laughs> defies explanation. It really is like the opposite of traditional seasonal affective disorder. I'm like, I literally feel better and happier and my body is happier when it's cooler outside. So 
I'm so sorry. Especially if you've been watching my videos for a while, you're probably like, gosh darn it, we're going into the summer months. All Katie is gonna do is complain about the heat. I'm gonna try, you guys. I promise I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, so what, what else is going on? So yeah, I'm in a little bit of a filming frenzy this week. Um, hopefully in the mornings while the kids are, kids are in school. I'm, ha I'm having a little bit of allergies today. Um, that's again, the weather changes. Um, I, um, put up that Diamond Art Club post review today, which is Sunday. And that was a little bit of an experiment. I think I probably talked about this last week in my whip and chat. I, I don't really remember, but I was like, you know, I virtually never do Diamond Art Club post reviews on my channel because the quality is usually extremely consistent and I touch on um, any of my Diamond Art Club finishes, I'll touch on them in my month in review videos. But I'm always exploring like, what are some things that I can try differently? Um, is there something new I want to do on my channel? Like, do I wanna mix it up? I wanna try to keep it fresh <laughs> without like changing the core of like who I am and what I enjoy doing on my channel and what you guys I think come here for and what you expect but at the same time it's nice to try new things and not hopefully not get stale or boring so I thought I know this is really probably small potatoes but why not I'm gonna try filming and putting up a dedicated Diamond Art Club post review video so I ended up doing that for Moon Owl Magic and I think that their response and like, you know, the views and stuff like that have, I think it's been pretty positive. And so I may kind of throw that into the mix sometimes. I don't think I'll do a post review on every single Diamond Art Club kit that I complete, but you know, it could be a nice way to mix it up, especially, I don't know if it's a kit that has really special meaning to me, or I think is, like a really good one to show off a finish for and stuff like that you know why not <laughs> um but that was that was fun to kind of like try something a little bit new to me and my channel even though again it's pretty pretty small scale change <laughs> um but as far as like what i'll be putting up this week it's really probably just going to be those sneak peeks all week um and then I'm probably just going to want to take like a long weekend off, <laughs> but, um, I think we'll be going into like, it'll almost be May. Yeah. Sunday will be May 1st. Holy cow. Sunday is going to be May 1st. So I'll, you know, get my month in review video up there. I think I haven't worked on my heaven and earth designs canvas since finishing that first quarter of it. Um, but I did put up, like I kind of put the question out there in the progress update video that I did asking you guys to share your opinions on which quadrant I should work on next. And I, it was kind of a pretty even split. There are a lot of you guys that were really just wanted to be rebels and be like to the bottom right, the section that doesn't connect to the first in any way, shape or form. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> I do think that I'm going to be doing the top right section next so that I can go ahead and have a change of pace as far as the color palette goes. And it'll be neat to kind of finish the top half of the painting, I think. So I'm leaning towards that, but I don't know. I don't know when I'll pull that back out again. I've been in the mood to work on it, so I don't think that it will be too long. <laughs> um, honestly, my biggest dilemma right now is um, how to store um, my the completed one. I don't want to roll it because I'm afraid that the drills will pop off. And it's a little bit bigger than most other canvases that I have that I store flat completed. I don't think I have any like 70 by 90 centimeter canvases that I have stored flat. I don't think that my portfolio, actually I know it doesn't, 60 by 80 is like the max size that it holds. So I am just, I'm torn. <laughs> I need to figure out how to store 
store the other one. Um, get a bigger portfolio bag, I guess. But even just having a place to put it, it's like under my bed, under my kid's bed. <laughs> like, where should I even put this? Um, plus, when I use like those really large artist por portfolio bags, I feel like in order to stop it from like flopping over, it's like I almost need to get, and I did this with one of my other uh, artist portfolio bags that I store my completed canvases flat in, is I got like one of those giant uh, present, excuse me, presentation boards, like the tri trifold presentation boards that kids use for like science fairs and stuff. Um, I got one of those and literally just used it um, I stuck it in the portfolio purely to like give it some structure <laughs> um, so it wasn't like flopping all over the place. I don't, there's probably another good, you could probably just cut up a, a huge piece of cardboard or something like, I'm sure that there's a way you could do it. Um, but yeah, so I, I just, I need to figure it out. If it were a poured glue canvas and the drills weren't wanting to pop off, I would probably just roll it, but yeah, even though it's, I think now that it's sealed, that makes it more stiff and difficult to roll anyway. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, after I finish this project, I, I don't know if I'll try to squeeze in another project like before the end of the month. I've been working on a lot of Diamond Art Club this month and as well as the cross stitch conversion and I'm like itching to mix it up. Um, I would love to work on one of the new craftably kits when whenever that set of pre-orders does arrive for them. I feel so bad for them by the way like they've had just the craziest delays. They've been affected so so badly by the overseas delays and I know that they feel really bad about it they're trying to keep people in the loop um which I love 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 about them uh, but I am dying to work on some of those kits so, so very selfishly I'm like I really hope those come in soon and then Enablers Outpost has some like glorious new kits coming next month as well um, that's kind of the estimated arrival date anyway, I think is probably next month, but I'm so excited for those. You guys, I just love what these diamond painting companies are doing out here. And then distracted by diamonds. Oh my gosh. You guys, they super pleasantly surprised Jessica and myself, um, letting us know that they had ordered another run of old masters, some old ma masters canvases specifically um, in time for summer with the masters. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, unfortunately, I was just looking at her shop earlier. She put in her shop announcements that their factory mislabeled several of the kits and they're unexpectedly very short on specifically the old masters canvases. I was like, no. So their factory is rushing in order to them to like make it right but I don't think they know exactly when it's gonna arrive but that was a huge bummer they didn't realize it until they went to start fulfilling orders after that first day um, I got a shipping notification for I, I ordered the Alphonse Mooka piece called Zodiac I love 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 Mooka's artwork so much so I'm really really excited that I was able to snag that one. Um, and so mine shipped, I hope, I, I'll have to check. I mean, I, I assume that it is gonna be the correct kit and that they, you know, checked that, but I'm gonna double and triple check, of course. Um, I'll probably unbox that on the channel next week, but I'm really thrilled about that. And um, they'll be sponsoring Summer with the Masters as well. So I know that Jessica and Robin are good friends. Um, and have you know been for a long time and so I love that we get to partner with them that's gonna be a lot a lot of fun um, but yeah I'm just I'm in love with the different diamond painting companies are doing right now my wallet is not in love with what all these diamond painting companies are doing right now um, but yeah it's it's fun um, feel free to let me know if you're seeing any 
any companies do any like really fun new releases and stuff lately. I always like checking out new shops specifically if they have um, fully, like their shop is just full of licensed artwork, please. I actually just ordered um, a custom for Summer with the Masters. I placed that order a few days ago. And it's actually from Dreamer Designs. So I I had an allergic reaction to one of Dreamer Designs kits, one of their like three package kits over a year back. Like it was a kit that I ordered like a year and a half ago and then I went to work on it six months, a year ago and like had an allergic reaction to it. Excuse me for yawning. Um, but I'm hoping that they've either fixed that issue and or that like whoever um, supplies their customs, maybe it's a different supplier. But I saw um, Jessica had actually sent me a link to um, my friend Lenka did, I think it was a post review of a John William Waterhouse kit that she got as a custom from Dreamer Designs. My jaw was on the floor. It looked incredible, like absolutely speechless. So I had originally thought that I would order a custom from Royal Diamond Painting and I went to go order a custom from them and um, like a couple of days prior to that and their, their website is down. Like it says, we'll be back soon. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm not ordering from Royal Diamond Painting right now. I'll try again next time. Um, I'm not totally sure what's what's going on over there. They didn't, I, I don't think they shared details. Like I looked at their Instagram and they just like acknowledged like, okay, we hope we'll be back up and running next week. So I hope, I hope everything's okay. But I, yeah, I'm not totally sure what's going on there, but I am curious to see how this rendering from D Dreamer Designs will turn out. I ended up also getting a John William Waterhouse piece. Um, the one I want, ended up going with, I believe is called Destiny. And she is so pretty, so, so pretty. Um, I even asked around and like kind of shared my thoughts. You know, I was looking, had it narrowed down to two or three different kits and sent them over to some friends and was like, hey, so these are the ones I'm thinking of. Like, what do you think would render well? Because honestly, not all old masters artwork is gonna render terribly well just because often the effects can be a little bit more blurry, um, especially translating that kind of artwork into diamond painting form. It can just be a little bit more tricky, I think. And so I appreciated the, the input from some friends and, um, and people that have some experience with rendering diamond paintings so that was fun I think that it said that there's like a like they have someone that helps with taking the computer rendering and then like making some hand tweaks to the charting and that they might even like contact they like contact you to get like your thoughts or something so I don't know I have I put in that order a few days back and I haven't heard anything but it's been the weekend so I'm not that worried about it I'm just curious I'm like am I going to hear anything or are they just gonna send it out and then ship it off um we'll find out <laughs> so that's kind of like the general diamond painting updates and stuff the Facebook group I was gonna mention I'm so 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 happy with how the Facebook group is going um if you missed it, Lindsay and I started a Facebook group a couple weeks back. We are calling it Diamonds and Emeralds. <laughs> and I'll, it, it's now per, permanently kind of linked in my description box for videos going, going forward. We'd love to have you. One of the things that we are really kind of making a thing in the group is that we're only, we, and you, we ask you to agree to it when you join the group or request to join the group um, we ask that you are only sharing licensed artwork and I love that but just the whole vibe and atmosphere in there has been so has continued to be just so positive and just so enthusiastic and so kind and I'm really really enjoying it a lot um, so yeah <laughs> glad that's that's going well um, 
as far as just stuff that's been going on with me and the kiddos and the hubby, um, there's like a, the drill is just stuck in the wax now. Um, I had a bit of an eventful week, so I finally decided to go in uh, for some routine blood work. It was something my doctor had ordered just as part of a regular like annual checkup that I had with her like last summer. <laughs> um, and when you go to get like lab work done here at least, you don't make an appointment. You just show up anytime during lab hours and you just you just wait in whatever in whatever wait that there is. So long story short, I never ended up going. I kind of like was putting it off, it was kind of just like it never quite worked out. And then I had finally decided, just kind of as part of like this past week or two, I've been trying to actually check some things off my checklist, continue to take steps towards taking better care of my health and my body. Um, I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in and get this taken care of. And I had just had a follow-up visit with my doctor just to touch base on how my new medication was doing, um, my antidepressant was doing, and in that appointment, I kind of sheepishly told her, like, so, um, that blood work that you ordered as part of my just well visit last summer, I was like, I never actually went and took care of that. I like to go and do that. Is the lab order still good? And she was like, yeah, it's good for you. She's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it life happens. She's like, but yeah, it'd probably be good to go and get it checked out. I was putting it off in part because, well, I hate having blood drawn in general just because I'm a terrible stick. <laughs> it usually takes them a few tries. Don't worry for the squeamish. I'm not going into any detail at all. I promise. Um, I'll just leave it at that. The other reason that I didn't really want to go was because I was really anxious about what the results might say. I'm overweight and I eat sweets <laughs> and I'm not super active and so I was thoroughly and entirely convinced that this blood work was going to come back and say that like I was diabetic or pre-diabetic or that my thyroid was having issues or something but I was like you know I just I need to get this taken care of so I did. I was fortunate enough to have test results by the end of the day, actually, and was able to like see them in my patient portal, so I didn't even have to wait for my doctor to call. I could just go in and look at them. I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised to see that my numbers for like the A1C and like the TSH test or whatever, the ones that are for, yeah, diabetes, thyroid and stuff, were like textbook perfect. I was like, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there was another batch of numbers that, like six or seven numbers that were low. Like, I didn't understand what the words are that I was reading. I just saw that, like, it was showing the range of, like, this is what's considered the normal range. And for, like, all of these, it was showing as low. And so I'm, like, Googling and I'm kind of, like, getting some information that I, like, I think this may be accurate. I'm like, my doctor's going to call. It's fine. Or I'll, I'll call her in the morning if I don't hear pretty quickly. Um, she actually sent me a message to the patient portal that evening and was like, hey, Katie, you know, I was looking through your lab results. Everything looks pretty good. There's this, you know, one thing like with you know, your triglycerides or something. And then she's like, also, you are anemic and this is new for you. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this correct. This is new for me. <laughs> like, this is never something I've had an issue with. And then she asked, she's like, have your... Have you been having heavy periods? And I think I mentioned in here, don't worry, again, I'm gonna keep this like very, very, very minimal detail wise, I promise. I think I mentioned that I, a few weeks back, had had what I suspected was kind of a really bad endometriosis flare up. And um, so I responded to her message and was like, funny you should ask. Yes, <laughs> also I am seeing my OBGYN next week um, to follow up with her. And I asked, you know, my doctor, I'm like, is there anything I should be doing like at this point or, you know, 
just check in with my OB because I said I strongly suspect it's because my endometriosis seems to be flaring up again I'm gonna get hopefully some confirmation from my other doctor <laughs> you know here in just a few days but what should I be doing and she said at this point because it's so new and because we have a suspected cause she's like we just want to monitor kind of what that blood loss is looking like and she encouraged me to like try to work in some iron rich foods and she said we'll we'll check in again in three to six months and you know let me know what your doc your other doctor says um so of course i'm like okay thank you <laughs> will do uh then i do start to kind of google a little bit and be like okay you know generally yeah what does this mean <laughs> what are the gen like symptoms the general symptoms of anemia and stuff like that and it was a little bit of a light bulb moment because like the very first thing that comes up in virtually every list of symptoms that I was coming across, like the first symptom on the list is fatigue. And I have long joked about how, especially in my Patreon blogs, and you guys have heard me yawn, but he got again. You guys have heard me yawn half a dozen times just in this whip and chat. And I have mentioned often that I just, yeah, I feel fatigued, but I just assume it's things like, oh, I'm having just a hard time adjusting to the time change. Um, yeah, no, I, I feel like I never got enough rest after the last time change and before I knew it, it was time for the next time change. So I was like, maybe that wasn't it. Um, but just this thought that maybe there is an underlying cause or contributing factor because I don't get like the perfect amount of sleep but I feel like I get more sleep than I need to be preventing like this level of fatigue so this you know this could I guess be a thing it was like I said it was a little bit of a light bulb moment it was kind of validating and I feel like there will be an additional level of like that validation when I go to see my doctor tomorrow morning um, where I get to go to her and say I suspect that my endometriosis is flaring up um, you know my cycles have been really really heavy and really painful like nauseous like needing to basically um, you know call in sick on life for two, one to two days um, this, that, and the other thing. But I get to go to her and say, and I just had this lab work done last week and I'm anemic. And it's, I, I know that it's because of this. And so generally, like my, my doctor listens to me, like my, my OBGYN, you know, I don't feel like she necessarily is blowing me off, but I still think that there will hopefully be like that extra, validation behind it when I get to go to her and be like I have the receipts <laughs> you know like I am actually anemic and it's because of the amount of blood loss that I'm having um you know once a month <laughs> so we'll see I never look forward to these appointments if you're a woman like I'm quite sure that you know exactly why you don't generally look forward to these appointments, but it's just part of taking care of our health. And um, I am anxious and eager to talk to my doctor, to talk with my doctor about what my treatment options are. Um, so we'll see. I do apologize if that was TMI for you guys, but. That's just very much at the forefront of my mind at the moment. I was like, why didn't these drills want to line up so well? This pink wax is like, it's like shedding onto the tray. <laughs> I can like see it. I think from when I tried to, when I've been multi-placing and I just, I'm kind of a hard presser. So there's just like pink wax everywhere. Okay. Um, unless like, you know, medically gross news. <laughs> uh, I got to have brunch with my girlfriends this morning. Um, this crew of gals and I, we have known each other for, we were just talking about it today, actually, um, 12 years. 
um, we all met right around when we got married. We, we actually met through like a newlyweds group at our church. And while we've, you know, a lot of us, um, like while a lot of us have like grown apart from other people that were in that kind of larger group, um, this group of us was in like a small group Bible study together for a few years. And it kind of had to fizzle when we all had, you know, small children, but we have, stayed in touch and these girls and I um we get together for brunch we try to get together every other month we try to by the end of a particular brunch hangout to have the next date like on the calendar because we're like we're going to put it on the calendar and if we have to change it it's fine but at least it's on the calendar <laughs> uh, but we went to a new place this morning um I love brunch food so it's just it's always my happy place uh but they had like different variations of French toast. They had churro French toast, and I had something that was like berry crunch French toast, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Um, I like passed it around the table. I was like, you guys, you can try a bite of this because I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. Um, give it a try, it seems really good. Okay, consensus is I'm not really a fan of the pink wax in the multi-placer, especially because like, if I don't place it correctly, there's no kind of like nudging it into place with the multi-placer the way I can when it's putty in there. So not a fan. <laughs> anyway, the brunch food was really delicious. I like, we like never eat, Adam and I never eat out in restaurants because we know better than to do that like with our children. I'm really talking, like, talking about Micah here. Um, so it's really a treat when I can go out to like a sit down restaurant we can just hang out <laughs> and catch up and we're you know kid free and so it's very relaxed and I originally actually didn't think I was going to be able to go because Adam ended up getting a, a paid gig for a friend's film this weekend and I again I didn't think I was going to, be able to go to brunch because I didn't have anyone to watch the kids and then my friend Rachel was like oh no David can watch the kids her husband um, she's like, we'll bring our kiddo over and David can just hang with the boys and our kiddo, you know, at your place. And I was like, really? <laughs> that would be so wonderful. So um, that was a real blessing. I was so grateful. Um, so, so grateful for that because I really, really enjoy that girl time and I would have been okay to give it up and, you know, see you in a couple months <laughs> at the next brunch. But it was really nice to be able to, to go out. And then um, because the kids were being so chill for David, Rachel and I ducked out and went to Home Goods after we finished brunch. And I got very excited because I thought that I had finally found the perfect chairs for our kitchen table. The chairs that we have at our kitchen table right now are literally falling apart <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, they are... They were hand-me-downs and they're fine, but they're just, they're literally falling apart. Like they are not holding up super well. We've had them for a very long time at this point. Like I've been on the hunt, mostly casually, to be honest, uh, for new kitchen chairs for a couple of years at this point. But it's just been one of those things where it's like, why is it? Kitchen chairs are so expensive. I'm like, they're chairs. Why are they so expensive? Um, that I just am always like, I'm not paying $150 per chair. So times four, like that is ridiculous. I'm not doing that. Like if I have that kind of money to burn, that's not what I want to spend it on right now. Also, it was really easy to take that stance because I never found... I wasn't looking that hard, but I never came across chairs that I was like, okay, yes, that actually, that fits my personal style and our kitchen table really well. Um, and we have, we very much have like a modern farmhouse vibe going on. And I found these chairs at Home Depot, uh, not at Home Depot, at Home Goods. I was like, this is it these are the chairs. Like this is exactly the kind of style, you know, that I guess I had in the back of my head or my subconscious that I was looking for. Um, like this, this is it. This is perfect. And Rachel's like, well, I, you know, I have an SUV like this will, we can totally just load this up into my car and take it back to your house. 
they only had two in the store. I was like, it's okay. Like, I'm really good with like the thrill of the hunt. You know, I can drive around to a bunch of different home goods and track down two more of these chairs at some point. I was like, it's okay anyway. I just want to see how they're going to look at my table. Anyway, maybe I'm going to hate them. I don't hate them. I love them, but they won't work because they are just a little bit too tall. Um, they're just a little bit too tall for a kitchen table and the style of them. It's not really practical for me to like, try to like, I don't know, <laughs> get like some professional, not like hardware equipment and like cut, you know, an inch or two off of the legs or something like that. It's not, sadly, that is not an option, <laughs> but I just like, gosh, darn it. Like I was fine, you know, the problem is that when I thought that I had found the one that it turned out like, nope, that's not going to work. And it's, it's not the style. It's not the color. It's not the quality. It's the height. <laughs> so that's a bummer, but, um, that did light a little bit of a fire under me. And I think that got Rachel's brain going. She's got like a huge eye for like interior design type stuff. And so she just sent me like a bunch of links from Wayfair and stuff that was like, look, like there's, there's more, there's more out there and all of that. And I'm like, yeah, but I just, I thought I'd finally found them. <laughs> I was all ready, but now I'm like, okay, I guess I have to load these back up into my car and haul them back into the store and return them. Like, oh, well such a first world problem. Am I right? <laughs> um, so really quickly before I forget, cause I actually have been chatting a lot longer than I realized I need to announce the winners of my last two prizes for my 10,000 subscriber give backs. So, um, this is, like I said, these were the last two prizes. So the giveaway has already closed. Thank you to everyone that entered over the past several weeks. Um, if you are new and didn't get a chance to enter for those, I do apologize. I'm hoping to do more giveaways in the future. I'm sure that I will. So I hope that you'll still stick around. Um, but the first thing that I was giving away was just open to us viewers and it was the diamond art club kit lazy day from Randall Spangler. Uh, so since I am still needing to go draw these winners, I'm going to pop it up on the screen here. So the winner of the kit lazy day is... Here you go, congratulations. Please send me an email. My email is below in my description box or send me a message over on Instagram and I'll just verify that you are who you say you are and get your info so I can send this over to you. The 10th and final prize of this many weeks of giveaways, this was open to international and US viewers. This was a $25 gift card for Die Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. And the winner of this prize is, look at the screen. Congratulations. Yay. Um, give me a, a reach out to me by email or on Instagram and I'll get this sent over to you. Like I said, I'll double check that you are who you say you are as well. All right. That's it. Thank you guys so much. And I am going to work on getting the rest of those prizes in the mail this week. <laughs> it has been a crazy month and I'm really not good about follow through. I am stopping being in denial about that about myself and recognizing that it's like one of my major flaws and I, I do apologize for any of you that I have left hanging because of that especially with prizes so um I have them they're going out <laughs> anyway um other things that are going on I'm really tired today I do really enjoy, like I adore getting to see my friends um, for brunch and stuff like that. But between COVID and between being an introvert and all of that, I get so wiped out from being out and about for a while and or from being social it like just wipes me out. And we were out for three and a half hours. <laughs> I came home and I immediately, it, I felt like I was hungover. I had to like take some Advil for a headache. 
I was so tired that all I wanted to do was lay on the couch and take a nap. But I had missed my kids so much. I'm like, I also just want to enjoy some time with my kiddos. I don't think that color was supposed to go there. I think that was an incorrect drill. Yeah, it was. Um, but I just, I don't have the endurance for it anymore at all. Um, I just, I had to like find a really gentle way to like tell Rachel, like, girl, I love you and I'm loving shopping with you and browsing through home goods. But like my body is telling me that it's done. Like I, you know, I'm hurting. <laughs> I have a headache coming on. Like I feel like my eyes are all like fuzzy and grainy. Like I just really feel like I need to go home. Um, I don't like being a party pooper, but I just, I recognize that like if I am not listening to my body, then I'm going to get like really... I'll get like really short tempered and I can't like regulate very well, um, just emotionally and stuff like that. So, um, of course, you know, she's super understanding and I think she was pretty, oops, sorry. I think she was pretty wiped out as well. So it was, it was really, it was fine for both of us. Um, and be, yeah, I, I always feel back. So I'm like, I've been away from my kids for like four hours and you know, all they want is like mommy time. And I want to be like, I just need a nap. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm looking forward to Adam coming home. He's had some long days with helping a friend with filming this weekend. I'm cracking up because he was telling me that he was chatting with um, one of the camera guys there. And um, the camera guy was talking, you know, about this kind of like new gig that he'd gotten and you know people were I guess were asking some more questions about it. he's like well it's for kids programming um and he's like do any of you guys have kids and Adam the only one there was like yeah I do and the guy was like do you know Blippy and Adam was like do we know Blippy yeah we know Blippy <laughs> turns out this guy is like the camera person for Blippy um and I think if you have kids, there's a pretty solid chance that you know exactly who Blippy is. <laughs> but he's, um, I guess he's like going international and stuff. And I'm like, dang. Um, but yeah, no, my kids, I don't, they're not like obsessed with Blippy, but Blippy's videos have certainly made appearances in our home. And Connor has gone through like major Blippy phases. And. Micah, not a ton. Connor, more Connor than Micah. But Adam was like, Katie, I met someone famous today. I was like, what? He's like the camera guy for Blippi. And I was like, that's funny. That's funny. So I'm curious if you guys have any, <laughs> any of the faintest idea who Blippi is <laughs> too. Oh my gosh. So as far as what's coming this week, um, I am, I'm going to be eyeballs deep in um, filming those sneak peek videos I will mention I think I said as much earlier I will just I'll mention because people have gotten snarky about this kind of thing before I don't really understand why um, Diamond Art Club has told sneak peekers that we can put up our sneak peeks anytime between Monday and Thursday we do not have to wait for Diamond Art Club to officially have previewed that kit before we put up our sneak peek because Diamond Art Club is very understanding. They realize that we are filming, most of us are filming like five-ish sneak peek videos. And to keep up with Diamond Art Club's previews, um, at, you know, five at a time, and they're not necessarily releasing their previews thinking like, okay, let's do one of each sneak peekers. They don't want it to be like, you know, for example, like none of the kits that I have have been previewed by Diamond Art Club as of now. <laughs> and they don't want to make me wait and then literally put up all of my videos back to back, you know, on like the last day or something like that if none of my kits get previewed till then. Anyway, so just don't give, please don't give YouTubers a hard time if you're like, oh, Diamond Art Club didn't preview that yet. You shouldn't have put this video up. Like this week is the exception. So please be nice. <laughs> generally speaking be nice you know um and give people the benefit of the doubt but I'll just I'll put that out there anyway because lots of our nerves are probably frazzled anyway <laughs> so I hope that you guys really enjoy 
the sneak peek extravaganza. If Diamond Art Club is not your thing, I totally get it. Um, I will still try to have some content for you over the weekend so that you don't feel totally left out. Um, but yeah, I hope that if you are going to be following along with their releases, I hope you have fun. I think it's going to be exciting to see what, what all they're going to be releasing and yeah, see what, see what our wallets are going to be doing. <laughs> uh, but you guys, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, why don't you put up some kind of bird emoji because that might have something to do with the main subject of this kit. I don't think that there is a phoenix emoji, so we'll go with a bird emoji because that's close enough. It almost looks like a peacock, so if you want to put up a peacock specifically, you could do that as well. You guys, the colors are so good. You unfortunately had to watch a much more boring section here. Lots of just blues and dark blues here, but hopefully this little tease over here of this kind of glowy area will tide you over just a little bit. Feel free to, if you want to put guesses for what you think this kit is in the comments, you're welcome to. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that we got to vote on in the VIP group polls back in the summer or fall, I think. So I don't know. I don't know if you recognize it or not. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my whipping chat. I would love to hear how your week is going and what you've been up to. I hope you're staying healthy and that you're enjoying the shift to spring weather, if that's what's happening wherever you live. <laughs> and um, I hope that you enjoy your week, whatever that looks like. So um, yeah, take care of yourself and I'll chat with you in the next one. All right. Okay. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.